There's our deer. Got them out of the box. Now I'm going to get ready to start to cut this baby up. It's been a while since I cut a deer, so bear with me. Nice sized animal. Can't see much looking at my plaid shirt. Yeah, that's better. Anyway, you didn't see what I did. Cut off the belly flap off of that side. Get some of this light fat out of here. Like I say I don't think Mama likes deer fat all that much, but. Almost baked bacon out of that belly fry. All right, now nice tenderloins right in here. Mm -mm -mm. That's a beautiful pumpkin. And then there's the other one. Beautiful slabs of meat. I think they just might go, they just might have to go right in, be medallioned up into a couple nice little steaks for lunch. I think that just might be a cut. No, the back straps are, I think I do cut into a bit of it on the back there, but that's all right. Like I say, I am not a professional butcher by any means. So pretty much take right up to the saw and I will saw it all up into some lovely little pieces and then we'll take it into the house and we will we got a lot of fat on this a lot of meat on them ribs too all right Take some nice pieces out of that, but a lot of that will go to grind. All this neck muscles also go to grind. And I get a couple nice corned beef. soaked where the bullet went through so a lot of this will be just discarded you won't eat that uh, that's where the bullet went through just cut around all that take out what's good what's not
back strap. There. Nice hunk of meat. Oh, I should have gloves on. Cold, cold, cold. And a meat hook would be even better. I meant to look for a meat hook when I was down south. But, I forgot. I'm going to slice this as close to the bone as I possibly can all the way down. Get as much meat off the cav chest cavity as I can. Right down to the rib. Taking this back strap and as much off of the, the rib as I can. I really don't want to waste it. It's a beautiful animal. Man, this is cold on the hands. See, I did miss a little piece off of here, but I think if I trim this bullet wound out, I should be able to get some more trimmings for grind off of that. Really good in here. Nice meat. Any of this lovely neck either because that's that's my chunk of corned beef right there when we're done curing. Oh, wipe my hands a little and have a sip of coffee. Alrighty, I'm gonna go grab the, the hind and I'm gonna buzz it through the saw, cut up some steaks. And uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, as you've seen, we already stripped off the uh, front. I think I'm going to buzz this tail off just to get it out of my way. Trim it, clean it, bag it, eat it, enjoy lovely organic meat. Uh, okay, Papa, so that's what's for supper. That's one steak. That's a nice one steak, or you can have a smaller steak. We got smaller steaks, or big steaks. That's now, is this all your buck here? This is this is my buck. What's uh, going to make meat? Can be nice roast, or it can be uh, corned beef. Corned beef. That's right. my corned beef. These are the inner loins, tender loins, which can be sliced into nice little medallions or 
whatever you want. Stew me. Um, that would be good for um, corned beef because it has the fat attached. So nice sections of corned beef. Okay. Because then I don't have to add the pork fat to that. So a nice section like six inches. Now that is a steak, a venison steak. And how many do we have? About uh, eight? Uh, Ten? Probably like 15. Okay, here we have approximately, what, 30 pounds of ground meat, dear? Oh, at least. And this looks white because we have added our pork trimmings and pork fat trimmings. This is what it would look like if it was just straight venison. It's very, very lean, and we like to add um, the pork fat and a bit of pork meat to make it a juicier grind. Now, I'm going to say that all together, it's going to be five parts venison, one part pork. Eh, dear? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to bag this up, and then I'll show you. I'm sorry for the lack of closing, folks. The only thing I can say is that we were really, really busy, but there is more videos to come. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying nothing, nothing beats fresh young venison for putting red meat in your freezer. Take care. God bless.